Right. So we are doing deductive reasoning uh, and particularly syllogism in deductive reasoning. Now this is extent. This was extensively asked in A L A T 2022. There we saw a lot many questions on syllogism in A L A T 2022. In A L A T 2023, uh, mostly logical reasoning questions were based on a passage. We had many assumption, central idea, inference questions, but we did have a passage in which there were some deductive reasoning questions, some syllogism questions. So A L A T likes asking these syllogism questions in varied ways right so what what we'll do today is we'll take it from the top we'll do the basics of syllogism we we'll look at some variations right i get a lot of queries and even today i'm getting some queries around the majority and most wale questions we will look at those right and uh, again as i said we'll we'll start from the very basic now deductive reasoning right what does it entail uh, what primarily is you know are these questions asking us right so deductive reasoning contains deductive arguments now what are deductive arguments deductive arguments are those that start from a general statement and we conclude about a specific case of that general case for example we have a general statement all a r b or let's put it this way all whales are mammals then another premise given to us is x is a whale right and from that we can conclude x is a mammal so from all whales are mammals x is a whale we are concluding x is a mammal general case all whales are mammals specific case x is a mammal right now in these questions our job is that right we are giving some we are given some conclusion statements we have to figure out we have to determine as to which of these conclusion statements definitely follow right and the key word is definitely follow we are marking only those conclusion statements that follow 100% right unless unless it is given something of the nature all a or b is possible right otherwise uh usually what what they ask is which of the following statements or which of the following conclusions follow and the the hidden word there is definitely follow right right so we have discussed this deductive reasoning starts out with a general statement starts out with a general statement and the conclusion is about a specific case right general to specific right and we are looking for the conclusion that follows 100% right so for example we have these two arguments right there is this argument on the left and there is this argument on the right now if you look at this argument on the left right the two premise statements all goldfish have gills all starfish have gills we can't conclude for 100 we can't conclude surely that all clownfish have gills from the above two statements right and we might say right some, somebody will say this is a possibility right from the these two statements this is a possibility but in this particular argument from the two statements from the two premise statements the conclusion follows 100% now the assumption is that both these statements are true right we are assuming the truth truth of these two statements and then the conclusion follows 100% so this argument this argument becomes a valid argument for us right and this argument an invalid one so for example there is a conclusion right there is a conclusion and we are not sure whether it follows 100% uh we 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 think that this conclusion is possible or even this conclusion is probable in both these cases we'll still call the argument an invalid argument for us a valid argument is 
if we are calling an argument a valid argument only if if and only if the conclusion follows 100% otherwise it is an invalid argument even if the conclusion we are saying the conclusion the chances of conclusion following is 99.99% even then the the argument for us is invalid right so 100% is what we are looking for all right so these are the four sort of uh, words or statements that are standard syllogism quantifiers right all some some not and no these are the standard quantifiers that are used in syllogism now there are certain other words right uh, which are which are given in questions sometimes but those are not standard words uh, words like few words like only few and we'll come to that right how to deal with words like few and only few we'll come to it for now we'll just look at what these words entail what these statements mean right so starting with all srp this is pretty straightforward we can imagine two sets s and p now this set this set s is completely inside p all the elements of s are also elements of p right so all s are p if i were to give it a number and if we are assuming that s has 100 elements right so if i have to give this quantifier a number i can give it 100 right okay now some srp so some right and if i say uh, some whales are mammals some apples are fruits right if i say these statements and if, we, if i'm using this word some some could mean you know Uh, various things and uh, you know it some is open to interpretation right uh, when we think of some in real world we can't attach a number to some so for example if we are saying some elements of s are in p what does it mean right now in deductive world right some means at least one right at least one one including one right and some could mean in deductive world all also some could mean all right so minimum one at least one maximum all right and again don't don't confuse it right for example uh, in real world if if we have to say all whales are mammals we'll say all whales are mammals we won't put it like some whales are mammals right right so this is so deductive how we treat these words in deductive world will be maybe slightly different from how we uh, you know use these words in real world right so for us in deductive world sum is 1 to 100 minimum 1 maximum all right no is pretty straightforward if i have to give a number to no i'll give it zero right and then we have some not okay so for some we had given 1 to 100 so we understand this sum this sum is 1 to 100 any number between 1 and 100 including 1 and 100 right now some not so i'm what i'm trying to say here is at least one element of s at least one element of s is not in p कम से कम एक एलिमेंट एस का पी में नहीं है सो इफ आई एम सेइंग एट लीस्ट वन एलिमेंट ऑफ एस इज नॉट इन पी राइट तो मैक्सिमम एस के एलिमेंट्स पी में कितने हो सकते हैं अज्यूमिंग एस हैज हंड्रेड एलिमेंट्स तो मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट्स हो सकते हैं नाइनटी नाइन राइट 
एंड सम का हमने लोअर रेंज जो लिया था वो वन है और मैक्सिमम सम क्या है हंड्रेड सो वेन आई एम से हंड्रेड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एस आर नॉट इन पी हंड्रेड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एस आर नॉट इन पी इट इट वुड मीन दैट जीरो एलिमेंट ऑफ एस इज इन पी राइट सो ऑन द लोअर साइड सम नॉट कुड मीन जीरो यू नो वी आर डिराइविंग इट फ्रॉम हाउ वी डिफाइन सम वी आर डिराइविंग सम नॉट फ्रॉम सम right so this is how we are treating these quantifiers and we are calling these words quantifiers all some no some not because they signify a quantity all signifies 100 all all elements some signifies 1 to 100 any element from 1 to 100 everything in between no signifies 0 some not signifies anything between 0 and 99 including 0 and 99 right all right so now the way we are doing these questions right with this interpretation with with this said right these will be the building blocks with this said now we are how we are doing these questions is we are doing it using venn diagram right uh there are some other ways to do these questions there are some rules right uh you can follow the rules and get to the conclusion but i think uh venn diagram is a sure shot way of getting to the right answer and also something that you know especially people who can who can visualize things right it becomes easier to understand what these different statements mean or what a group of statements entail right let's get down to it okay now we are starting with this statement all srp okay so all srp i have to show all srp right i have to visually represent all srp how will i show it so one way to show it is this all srp can there be another way to show all srp yes there can be one more way to all show all srp which is which is this right so one way to show all srp is this and the other way to show it is this right now now the question arises which of the two is a better way right which of the two is a better way uh now mostly people would say that you know the diagram on the left is a better representation because it does not show all p to be s whereas the diagram on the right shows all p r s and again the reasoning is that we do not know for sure whether all p r s or not the only thing we know is all s r p so this is a better representation but but the point here is that we are not sure right we are not sure that all prs and similarly we are also not sure of the fact that some p are not s right so you know that that's right that we are not sure whether all p are s but we are also not sure whether some p are not s right so we are not sure whether this is the true representation or whether this is the true representation so in fact both these diagrams the diagram on the left and the diagram on the right both are possible diagrams they both are mere possibilities right now of course when we are solving questions and many of you have solved so many questions right you we are drawing this diagram on the left right we are drawing the diagram on the left uh, because of some other reason not because it is uh, it is a better diagram or not because uh, the chances of this happening is better than uh, the the other one right we are drawing this diagram we are calling this the minimum overlap diagram because it 
it makes question solving easier. That's the only reason. हम लोग ये left वाला diagram इसीलिए बनाते हैं while we are solving questions because it uh, the question solving becomes easier. Not because ये वाला diagram के chances ज़्यादा हैं, right? So the diagram on the left we are calling it minimum overlap. Why are we calling it minimum overlap? Because here the overlap between S and P, the two groups, is less than the overlap here. So out of the two possible diagrams, this becomes the minimum overlap diagram. As I said, the possibility of both these happening, right, is equal 50-50. Right? But when we are solving questions, we are drawing this diagram. Right? Now, let's look at this statement in detail, all SRP, right? And let's try to understand what conclusions will definitely follow if this is true, if all SRP is true. Okay? Now, all SRP, we are taking it to be true, right? And we understand these are the two possible ways that we can draw all SRP, right? Now, if you look, at these two statements, some SRP and some PRS. Now, if you look at this diagram, right, some SRP follows here. Agar sare SP mein hai, to obviously kuch SP mein hai. All SRP, uh, uh, if, if it is given to us all SRP, it necessarily follows some SRP, no doubts there. And obviously, some PRS, this is the portion where S and P uh, overlap, right? And if you look at this diagram, again, all SRP, it obviously some SRP, some SRP follows here. And some PRS also follows in, the, in this diagram on the right. So these become our definite conclusions from this statement, all SRP. Right now, let's look at some of the possible conclusions, the statements that do not necessarily follow, but are possible if this statement is true. Right now, all PRS, okay, from all SRP, all PRS. So we see all PRS happening here, right? But all PRS doesn't follow in the diagram on the left, right? And similarly, if you look at the other statement, some P are not S, it follows here, we see it happening here, but it doesn't happen here. So both these statements, all P are S and some P are not S, are only possibilities. Agar hum se poochte hai ki all SRP agar true hai, so, kya all PRS follow karta hai? We will say it does not follow. It is a mere possibility. Right? Similarly, all SRP say kya some PR not S follow karta hai. So, again, it does not follow. It is only a possibility. Right? So, uh, just have a good look at this and then we can move on to some SRP. Okay, so moving on to some SRP. So again, some SRP, right? Uh, the first diagram that we draw for some SRP is the minimum overlap to represent some SRP. So the minimum overlap diagram for some SRP is this. This is the diagram that we draw when we are solving questions. Okay, but we do understand some SRP can be represented in some other ways. For example, some SRP can be shown like this. Some SRP, this is the overlap region. Here, this is the overlap region. Right? And then, some SRP 
could also be shown like this right again s and p overlap in this region and some somebody some some people might ask sir in this case all srp but then all srp entails some srp right so obviously some srp can also be shown like this now again which of the three is the best diagram we can't say we don't know which is true all three are possible but when we are solving the questions we are drawing this diagram okay now let's look at the possible conclusions the first one is all prs it follows in this diagram right we can see all prs in this diagram but it does not follow in the other two diagrams so therefore it becomes a possible conclusion right then all srp we see it here but we don't see it in the other two diagrams so it becomes only a possible conclusion then some s are not p so we see some s are not p some s are not p this portion here some s are not p this portion here but we don't see some s are not p in this diagram in this diagram it doesn't follow so from some s are p some s are not p does not follow it is only a possibility agar hame de rahe hain some whales are mammals to isse ye follow nahi karta some whales are not mammals some say some not follow nahi karta it is only a possibility right and for similar reasons some p are not s is also only a possibility and you can let me know in the comments as to why some p r not s does not follow it is only a possibility you can let me know in the comment section okay now definite conclusion right so definite conclusion something definite conclusion will be that statement that follows in all the three diagrams something that is true in all the three diagrams and we we understand right in all the three diagrams some portion of p some portion of p is in s so the definite conclusion here is some prs so from some srp there is only one conclusion that follows which is some prs right everyone all right then we have no srp and no srp is uh, pretty straightforward none of the elements of s and p uh, overlap none of the elements are common and uh, s and p are two disjointed sets right this is pretty straightforward and when we are drawing this diagram s and p we are drawing a line between the two circles because sometimes what happens is uh, you know there are 3 to 4 to 5 statements given in the question right and we are drawing these different circles right we are drawing 4 to 5 to 6 circles and uh, we, to be to be very sure as to between which two circles that no relationship exists we draw the line so that the diagram is absolutely clear right ki kaun se do circles mein wo no wala statement hai right so we are drawing the line and also the second reason is it distinguishes it from the other diagram that we'll see later right so for now snp our disjointed says this line is no bridge some elements can't jump over and cross the bridge to reach s don't don't think that it is it, it just tells us that snp cannot have an overlap right so from no srp the definite conclusions let's look at the definite conclusions so the first one says no prs and this is this is pretty straightforward no element of p is in s the second one is some s are not p so obviously if none of the elements of s are in p we can say some elements of s are not in p agar koi bhi element s ka p mein nahi hai 
तो कुछ एलिमेंट्स एस के पी में नहीं है दैट इज प्रिटी स्टेट फॉरवर्ड राइट एंड अगेन वी आर वी वर से नो एलिमेंट ऑफ पी इज इन एस सो ऑब्वियसली सम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ पी आर नॉट इन एस राइट सो दीज थ्री आर डेफिनेट कंक्लूजन and we understand that there can be no other possible way to draw no srp right so no possible conclusions only three definite conclusions right now with this we can move on to sum sr not p and sum sr not p is a statement Some S R not P is a statement that that creates the maximum confusion, right? If it comes in one of the statements or it comes, it becomes part of the conclusion, then it creates some confusion, right? So let's let's understand what some S R not P means, right? So some S R not P, right? We are drawing this diagram, some S R not P, and this is very similar to the diagram we drew for no S S P. We showed S N P as disjointed sets. when we were drawing no ssp and that was uh, pretty understandable right why are we drawing this diagram for even sum sr not p aur kuch log bolenge ki sir sum sr not p mein kuch elements s ke p mein ho bhi sakte hain then why are we showing this so do understand that we are trying to draw the minimum overlap diagram ki aisa diagram jisse s aur p ko hum represent kar de और उसमें मिनिमम ओवरलैप हो एस और पी में एंड जस्ट अ फ्यू मोमेंट्स अगो वी सॉ द रेंज फॉर सम एस आर नॉट पी सम नॉट की हमने रेंज देखी थी एंड द रेंज वॉज जीरो टू नाइन सो वट इज द मिनिमम ओवरलैप बिटवीन एस एंड पी जीरो सो वॉट विल बी द मिनिमम ओवरलैप डायग्राम द जीरो ओवरलैप डायग्राम राइट बट येस there can be other ways to draw sum sr not p for example there could be an overlap between s and p right so what are some different ways so one way to represent sum sr not p is this and we understand this portion of the diagram is sum sr not p right sum sr not p now another way to draw sum sr not p is this again this portion of the diagram is sum sr not p right so sum sr not p can be drawn like this can be represented like this can be represented in this way can be represented in this way right again which is the best diagram we don't know which is the exact true representation we don't know all three are possible and when we are solving questions we are drawing this diagram which is the minimum overlap diagram right now let's look at let's start with some of the possible conclusions right the first one is all prs and you can see all prs in this diagram to sum sr not p se ek possibility hai all prs and you know had we not done वेन डायग्राम है लॉजिज्म तो ये थोड़ा इमेजिन कर पाना मुश्किल था कि सम एस आर नॉट पी से एक पॉसिबिलिटी है ऑल पी आर एस राइट बट ये दिस इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी राइट नाउ सम अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज सम एस आर पी सो प्रीवियसली वी सॉ कि सम एस आर पी से सम एस आर नॉट पी फॉलो नहीं कर रहा था इट वॉज ओनली अ पॉसिबिलिटी सिमिलरली सम एस आर नॉट पी से सम एस आर पी फॉलो नहीं होता ये केवल एक पॉसिबिलिटी है राइट एंड वाई इज दैट बिकॉज सम एस आर पी आप देखो यहां पर नहीं है इस वाले डायग्राम में नहीं है राइट सो सम एस आर पी इज ओनली अ पॉसिबिलिटी फ्रॉम सम एस आर नॉट पी एंड सिमिलरली सम पी आर एस इज ऑल्सो ओनली अ पॉसिबिलिटी अगेन दिस does not happen in this diagram right now from sum sr not p dekho sum sr p se ek definite conclusion the sum sr p se which was sum 
पी आर एस वो डेफिनेट था लेट्स लुक एट सम एस आर नॉट पी से वेदर सम पी आर नॉट एस इज अ डेफिनेट कंक्लूजन और नॉट राइट तो सम पी आर नॉट एस यहां पे तो फॉलो हो रहा है नो पी इज एस तो सम पी आर नॉट एस यहां फॉलो हो रहा है इस वाले डायग्राम में सम पी आर नॉट एस यहां पे भी फॉलो हो रहा है दिस पोर्शन ऑफ पी राइट दिस पोर्शन इज नॉट एन एस यहां पे भी फॉलो हो रहा है बट सम पी आर नॉट एस यहां पर फॉलो नहीं हो रहा है यहां पर ऑल पी आर एस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम राइट सो सम पी आर नॉट एस फ्रॉम सम एस आर नॉट पी इज ओनली अ पॉसिबिलिटी इट डज नॉट फॉलो ओके right now finally we we have one more possibility in fact two which is from this diagram no ssp no p is s right if you look at the other two diagrams no ssp and no p is p is s does not follow so we have two more possibilities no srp and no pr s so these are the six statements from sum s r not p that are possible but still they do not follow 100% from sum s r not p these statements do not follow right uh which statement follows something that is true in diagram 1 in diagram 2 and in diagram 3 right what is that statement that that is true in 1 2 and 3 combined common in 1 2 and 3 if you can have a good hard look that will be the definite conclusion right so yeah i don't think there is any statement that follows in all three right there is no statement that that is common in all three so in fact from some as are not p nothing follows no statement follows from some as are not p if we are given right if we are given some mammals are not whales some mammals are not whales we cannot conclude anything from that statement all statements are mere possibilities all right okay so so this becomes so this is this is what we can extract right Th this is uh, what what becomes the foundation of drawing the venn diagrams right so we are drawing these four diagrams for these four statements when we are solving questions right these are the minimum overlap diagrams for all these four statements and you may have noticed that for some as are not p we have drawn a dotted line so as to differentiate it from no srp agar no s no wala statement hai then we are drawing this uh, continuous line and when we have a some not statement we are drawing this dotted line dotted line signifies ki s or p mein overlap possible hai right so these are the four diagrams that we are drawing okay now we come to this uh, interesting concept of contradictories right and this will come into play when we are solving questions right and we have seen direct questions on contradictories now contradictories are also called logical opposites right let's try and understand this concept of logical opposites right so uh we'll take an example right we'll take an example of a word right let's let's say let's say black so if i ask you the opposite of black right and the usual response is white okay black opposite white 
now if i if i ask you to place everything in the room so you you must be sitting in a room every object in the room right place every object in the room in one of these two categories just place them in either black or white all the objects that you can see in your room right now uh you you wonder right this, this can't happen this this is not possible everything can't be black or white right there are shades of gray right so everything can't be placed in these two categories black or white okay so if i i tell you okay if if you can't do that then uh, find two words that serve as opposites that will be opposites of each other in a way that you'll be able to place all objects all objects in your room in one of the two categories ki aapko aise do opposite words dhoondne hain ki aap sare objects ko kisi ek category mein dono mein se kisi ek category mein fit kar loge right and what do you think right so arushi says black and not black so we are taking black and not black right so black and white mean black not black now black all objects that are black will come under that category not black will take care of all the other colors right objects of all other shades we can be put under not black so black and not black work as perfect opposites in a way right so are we are we saying black and white cease to be opposites now kya black or white are opposites nahi rahe nahi black and white bhi opposites hain but black and not black hamare liye ab opposites hain when we are dealing with critical reasoning deductive reasoning so black and not black we call them the logical opposites black and white polar opposites why polar opposites because they are poles apart north pole south pole right so polar opposites black and white hot and cold right sweet and bitter logical opposites black not black white not white cold not cold bitter not bitter right so this is the funda now if you can apply the same funda right if you can apply the same funda to these quantifiers so black and not black we understood right ki ya to cheeze black hain ya not black hain we were able to categorize all the objects in one of the two categories to so black start ho raha tha something that was pitch black the darkest of black and the range goes up to up till the whitest of white to so, कंप्लीट ब्लैक से कंप्लीट व्हाइट तक वो पूरी रेंज को कवर कर रहे थे ब्लैक और नॉट ब्लैक राइट एंड वी नीड दीज टू वर्ड्स राइट वी नीड टू क्वांटिफायर्स दैट कवर द एंटायर रेंज एंड दे डू नॉट हैव एनी ओवरलैप ब्लैक और नॉट ब्लैक में कोई भी ओवरलैप नहीं था सिमिलरली वी नीड टू क्वांटिफायर्स दैट कवर द एंटायर रेंज एंड देर इज नो ओवरलैप राइट नाउ लुक एट दिस so out of the four words we need two words that cover the entire range what is the entire range here wahan pe pitch black se leke whitest of white tak tha yahan pe hamari complete range hai 0 to 100 right now if you look at all and if you look at some right so all is 100 sum not is 0 to 99 they together all and sum not together they cover the entire range from 0 to 100 right and there is no overlap between all and sum not right and then look at these two words sum and no sum is 1 to 100 no is 0 again put together sum and no they cover the entire range 0 to 100 and there is no overlap now by that standard right they cover the entire range and 
they do not have any overlap by that standard some and no are opposites all and some not are opposites do we agree with this right now let's test them out isko real world test mein dalte hain kya all and some not can they work as opposites theek hai to main bol raha hu all people who are watching this video all the people who are watching this video are wearing black shirts right all of you are wearing black shirts how will you oppose that statement so one way to oppose this statement is by saying nobody who is watching this video is wearing a black shirt nobody who is watching this video is wearing a black shirt oppose ho gaya statement another way to oppose this statement is by saying some of the people who are watching this video are not wearing black shirts the statement the original statement was all of them are wearing black shirts opposite some of them are not wearing black shirts so all and some not work as opposites of course all and no also work as opposites but all and no are similar to black and white hot and cold so all and no are polar opposites all and some not logical opposites right similarly some and no so i'm saying some of the people watching this video are wearing black shirts some of the people watching this video are wearing black shirts how will we oppose that statement nobody who's watching the video is wearing a black shirt some no right so some and no are opposites for us all and some not right so contradictories all and some not no and some opposites now there could be direct questions on on this funda right how will they ask it okay how will they ask it uh let's let's look at the concept again so black and not black right black and not black so for example i am giving you a statement x is black x is black this is true x is black is true i am saying x is black is true what can we say about the truth of the statement x is not black will it become false everyone of course x is not black becomes false and if i say x is black is false that makes x is not black true yes or no and if i if i repeat this for black and white if i repeat this for black and white i am saying x is black is true right x is black is true that means x is white false and if i'm saying x is black is false what can we say about x is white x is black x is black ye false hai x is white we do not know it could be true it could be also false right so in case of polar opposites in case of polar opposites right both the statements can't be true together if one is true the other is false but they can be false together x is black and x is white they can both be false together in case of logical opposites if one statement is true the other is false if one statement is false the other is true right to direct question kuch aisa ho sakta hai okay 
uh, and they have asked such questions, okay? They have asked such questions in way of conditionals, in way of deductive logic, right? So, there was given that all A or B, right? I'm just, uh, top of my head, whatever comes, I'm, I'm giving you a question. All A or B, all A or B is a statement given. And it was said, if the above is false, if the above is false, what is definitely true, right? और वहां पे दो ऑप्शंस हैं आपके पहला सम ए आर नॉट बी और दूसरा नो ए इज बी ओके डू यू गेट द क्वेश्चन ऑल ए आर बी राइट दैट्स द गिवन स्टेटमेंट इट इज सेड दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शंस इज नेसेसरीली ट्रू एंड द टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर एंड यू नो वी कैन गेट वी कैन डिराइव अदर ऑप्शंस ऑप्शन 1 इज no a is b and some second option is some a are not b right and third is neither fourth is both okay <clears throat> so right if all a or b is false what is necessarily true is some a are not b necessarily true is some a are not b right no a is b is only a possibility it is not necessarily true right so this you know such direct questions alet alet has a knack of asking deductive in you know as i said earlier in various ways right so we can expect such a question okay so with this right of course we have done this contradictories you know to sort of also uh, it will also help us solving uh, solving these syllogism questions right so now we can move on to these questions right right so again this this point was important here that one second that they cannot be true together all right so if you needed more time uh, you could pause the video and you know uh, you can view it in a delayed form right so some ships are boats we draw we drawing the minimum overlap diagram we are starting off with that some ships are boats all boats are submarines all boats are submarines now when we are drawing all boats are submarines right uh, usually people end up drawing it like this some ships are boat all boats are submarines we avoid drawing submarines in this form because what it does is what it does is it creates an extra overlap one second it creates an extra overlap between uh, submarines and ships right uh, which is not intended the, whatever overlap submarines and ships have it purely is purely because of boats right so it shouldn't create an extra overlap uh, with ships right so we are drawing it in this manner right so we are basically what we are basically doing when we are drawing submarines over boats we make sure that submarine circle coincides with boats inside the ship's circle right now the third statement is 
some submarines are yachts right now we look at conclusion one conclusion one says some yachts are boats now conclusion one is a positive statement right i'll just positive right and when we decide whether this positive statement follows from the given set of statements or not <clears throat> we just have to look into the minimum overlap diagram if we see some yachts are boats then it follows otherwise it does not it is as simple as that and that is the benefit of drawing the minimum overlap diagram and we said it makes question solving easier right so if some yachts are boats we do not see it happening so it does not follow now the next conclusion statement is some submarines are boats and again we have a positive statement right and we understand some submarines are boats there is an overlap between some uh, between submarines and boats so this conclusion follows and as of now we do understand that this is not the only diagram for these four statements because we have seen that in every statement there were many possible diagrams, right? Uh, but we are only drawing this particular diagram, right? And when we are judging these positive statements, this will suffice. This diagram is sufficient. We don't need to see all possible diagrams in this diagram, right? If the positive statement follows in this, it is given. that it follows in all other possible diagrams and there is a rational behind it of course right rational ye hai ki jab circles ke beech mein overlap minimum hai jab circles ke beech mein overlap ekdam minimum hai agar tab ye statement follow kar raha hai agar overlaps bad jayenge to to obviously hi follow karega right so this diagram is enough when we are judging the positive statements things will change when we encounter a negative conclusion statement okay we'll come to that okay some submarines are ships again we have a positive statement and submarines and ships do overlap because of boats so yes this follows and then finally we have some yachts are ships right and we don't see that overlap between yachts and ships so this does not follow right so this was the very basic question right uh, to sort of apply whatever we saw in the past few slides and you know this one was fairly simple one again some of you uh, will be able to reach the correct answer right without drawing without the help of the diagram and that is absolutely fine whatever works for you just make sure uh, if you are following the rules if you are doing it in some other way it should work in all questions right if you are following venn diagram it should work in all questions aisa nahi ho sakta ki 100 mein se 90 questions kar leta hu 10 nahi hote because syllogism questions trust me somebody who will nail it somebody who will get into nlu delhi will get those questions correct all those questions correct the syllogism ones right they are setters okay now we will look at this particular question and here we have some negative statements in the conclusion right and i'll give you some time to solve this one and then we can do it together right so let's look at this question some a r b we are drawing the minimum overlap diagram 
ऑल सी आर डी ऑल बी आर ई अगेन वेन वी आर ड्रॉइंग ई ओवर बी वी मेक श्योर दैट ई ओवरलैप्स विद बी वेन इट एंटर्स ए राइट एंड देन नो ई इज सी नो ई इज सी राइट we start off with these positive statements in the conclusions the first one says sum e r a right sum e r a so yes there is an overlap between e and a because of this b right to diagram mein dikh raha hai follow ho raha hai so this follows right two says sum c r b some c r b of course we don't see it happening it does not follow and then we have a negative statement right no e r d now if you look at the diagram no e r d follows right no e r d follows but in case of negative conclusion statements this diagram is not enough to to and to know whether the negative conclusion statement is true or not whether it follows or not so how we uh, tackle a negative conclusion statement is as follows right uh the first thing we do when we encounter a negative statement and i'll give you the uh, reasoning behind it right so the first thing we do is no erd right we take the opposite of it which opposite not the polar opposite the logical opposite so the logical opposite of no is sum right sorry so sum so we are taking the opposite of no right sum so sum e r d right from the diagram can you let me know whether sum erd sum erd is possible or not i know sum erd does not follow it is evident sum erd does not follow but what i want to know from you is whether sum R, sum erd is possible or not let me know right so of course if i do this right some i overlap some erd e and d circles does it violate any of the four statements given kya isse koi statement violate ho raha hai ye char statements dekho positive statements to violate nahi hote jo sum ar b all crd that is all intact all bre right the cause of concern usually is the negative statement so the negative statements right uh, work as conditions yahan pe condition ye hai ki e aur c mein overlap nahi hona chahiye kyunki in char statements ko humne true liya hua hai right to e aur c mein dekho overlap nahi hai right so what we are saying is the opposite of no erd sum erd is possible ab kyunki sum erd is possible we cannot conclusively say that no erd follows although although it follows in the minimum overlap diagram it does not follow in this diagram which is other another possible way to draw the four statements इस वाले पॉसिबल डायग्राम में फॉलो नहीं हो रहा है एंड दिस वी आर डूइंग ओनली विद द नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स देखो पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट्स के लिए हमने बोला था कि अगर मिनिमम ओवरलैप में फॉलो हो रहा है राइट right, ओवरलैप्स बढ़ जाएंगे तो तब भी फॉलो ही होगा नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स के लिए क्या है ओवरलैप्स बढ़ने पर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी क्योंकि पीछे वाले डायग्राम में फॉलो नहीं हो रहा था ओवरलैप बढ़ने पर फॉलो होने लगा सो दिस इज अनदर पॉसिबल डायग्राम वेर इट फॉलोज राइट हम 
डेफिनेट कंक्लूजन सिर्फ उस कंक्लूजन को बोलते हैं उस स्टेटमेंट को बोलते हैं जो सारे पॉसिबल डायग्राम्स में फॉलो हो और नो ई इस पॉसिबल डायग्राम में फॉलो नहीं हो रहा सो फॉर अस नो ई आर डी डज नॉट फॉलो राइट एंड देन टू चेक नो ए आर सी वी कैन गो बैक टू द ओरिजिनल मिनिमम ओवरलैप डायग्राम राइट सो वी हैव नो ए आर सी Now again, if you look at this diagram, no ARC follows, right? But then we understand when we encounter a negative statement in the conclusion, this diagram is not enough. So again, we'll have to take that step again. What we do is we are checking for the possibility of some ARC. क्या A और C में overlap possible है? राइट सो यस ए और सी में ओवरलैप पॉसिबल है एंड इफ यू कैन इमेजिन अगेन समटाइम्स यू वुड नॉट वांट टू ड्रॉ टू मेनी डायग्राम्स राइट एंड दैट इज ओके अब तो खैर लेकिन आपके पास ज्यादा टाइम हो गया एलेट में भी बट देन अगेन यू नो यू मे वांट टू स्पेंड एज लिटिल टाइम सॉल्विंग से लॉजिज इन क्वेश्चन now if i am looking at this diagram what i know from the four statements the only condition is ki e or c mein overlap nahi hona chahiye right e or c mein if you look at this diagram a aur e mein sirf ye wala overlap hai ye wala circle pura ye wala area pura barren hai yahan pe e nahi hai to ye wala portion ye wala portion can overlap with c wala portion so as of now i am not particularly concerned ki karega kaise logistic kaise manage honge how will see uh, you know travel that distance to tele i am not concerned but logically logically speaking a ka ye wala portion can overlap with c ka ye wala portion right which is which does not have e right to agar hame dekhna hai ki uh, logistics kaise manage karenge तो हम ई e को यहां ला सकते हैं सी को सॉरी राइट एंड बी को भी यहां ला सकते हैं सो दिस कैन हैपन सी और ई e में अभी भी ओवरलैप नहीं है सो इट डज नॉट वायलेट एनी ऑफ द गिवन स्टेटमेंट्स राइट सो सम ए आर सी इज पॉसिबल एंड देर फोर and i have in this particular diagram i have drawn it like this ki main a ko idhar le aaya c se overlap kar diya just wait uh c se overlap kar diya and again agar a inse extra overlap kar bhi raha hai this is not a problem for me right no e is c valid nahi ho raha right so some a r c is a possibility right so no a is c no a r c does not follow so the only conclusion that follows is conclusion 1 everyone and don't worry if if you if you uh, if you you know if you require more time to get a grip on this don't worry we'll do another question jahan pe negative conclusion involved hai and this video will be there will be up there forever on youtube you can you know rewind and see this again right so let's let's move on right let's move on to one more question which involves negative conclusions right let's let's give it a shot and then we can solve it together
All right. So let's let's look at it. So we have some A R B. We have all A R C. Again, when I'm drawing C over A, I'm making sure that it does not create an extra overlap with B. We have all C R D. Again, we we'll make sure that D does not make an extra overlap with B. And finally, we have no E S C. Right. So the first conclusion statement is a positive statement. वहाँ पे एकदम सिंपल है. Some these are B's. We can see it happening. Some these are B's. We have the overlap region. So this follows. No A is E. Oh, we had another negative conclusion. So no A is E. Of course, we can see it happening in this particular diagram, but we'll have to make sure that it follows in all the possible diagrams. And in order to do that, what do we do? We take the opposite of no. We say sum A is E, and we are checking whether sum A R E is possible or not. And if you look at A and E. there is a there is this statement right that does not allow an overlap between e and c e or c mein overlap nahi ho sakta and a is completely inside c so obviously e or a mein overlap possible nahi hai so what we are essentially saying is some are is not possible since the opposite is not possible we can say no a is e definitely follows the opposite of it is not possible then we have no e is b again a negative statement and uh, we just take the sum e r b statement and check whether e and b can have an overlap the only condition is no e is c but again this portion of b which is barren which is devoid of c can overlap with e in this manner right none of the statements gets violated so e or b ke beech mein overlap possible hai and what can we say about uh, the truth of no e is b it does not follow right and finally we have another negative statement and we'll go back to the original diagram sum e r not d and again sum not a negative statement what is the opposite of sum not all so what we are trying to check here is whether all e's are d's is possible or not kya ye e ka circle completely d ke andar aa sakta hai that is what we are checking again we are not concerned with the logistics part of it ki kaise aayega for example we are not sort of worried ki e wala circle being so big how will it enter d it will create an overlap with c right aur ye wala statement valid ho jayega so do remember the size of the circle right was determined by us so we can shrink it we are the picasso of this particular artwork right so we can shrink it and put it inside d so basically all e r d is possible c or e may overlap nahi hua right so what can we say about the truth of this statement we are not sure we we say it does not follow okay everyone <clears throat> so so this is how we are solving these syllogism questions right 
another point uh, i i want to bring your attention to these statements once again when we are saying that no e is b does not follow we are not saying that no e is b is false kai bar jab aap respond karte ho aap bol dete ho ki sir ye wala statement false hai follow na karne ka matlab false nahi hota follow na karne ke do interpretation ho sakte do meaning ho sakte hain number 1 कि इट इज पॉसिबल इट इज ओनली अ पॉसिबिलिटी एंड नंबर टू इट इज फॉल्स इन दिस केस नो ई इज बी इज एक्चुअली अ पॉसिबिलिटी नो ई इज बी पॉसिबल है बट सिमिलरली सम ई आर बी इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल राइट सो वी आर से दिस इज फॉल्स all we are saying we are not sure whether it is definitely true and that's why we are saying it does not follow okay and same is the case with this particular statement we are not saying this is false we are saying this is only a possibility as all erd is a possibility okay <clears throat> all right so i think after having solved uh, these two to three questions we are we at least know as to what is happening here right we we understand the concept we we understand what is happening here so this is a snapshot right and you know uh, maybe you can i don't know so okay you are watching it on youtube so you can go back to this any time you want i was about to say take a screenshot but yes this is what uh, you know what the important points are right so the first one here is in case of affirmative affirmative ho gaya positive in case of positive conclusion conclusions by by conclusions i mean the conclusion statements the statement given in the conclusion right so in case of positive conclusion statements you will get the answer directly from the minimum overlap diagram if it follows in the minimum overlap diagram it follows if it doesn't follow in minimum overlap it does not follow as simple as that in case of negative conclusions what we are trying to do uh, we check for the possibility of the logical opposite agar no wala statement hai to some ki possibility check kar rahe hain agar some not wala statement hai to all ki possibility check kar rahe hain if the logical opposite is possible without violating any given statement then the negative conclusion does not follow kyunki uska opposite bhi possible hai to obviously negative conclusion follow nahi kar raha and if the logical opposite is not possible the negative conclusion definitely follows right so what we can do is look at some variations here so let's let's try to do this one everyone all right so we have we have some arb and some cra so this is the minimum overlap diagram this is the only diagram that we'll work with right now the first statement the first conclusion statement is no b is c can you tell me in the comments whether this follows or not <clears throat>
right so no b is c right what we do is we'll take sum b or c right sum b or c kya b or c mein overlap possible hai obviously possible hai right b or c can overlap right something like this b and c can overlap so obviously no b is c does not follow what about sum b or c to dekho sum b or c aap yahan pe dekh pa rahe ho but in the minimum overlap diagram it does not follow aur positive statement ka go to diagram kya hai minimum overlap to positive statement minimum overlap mein nahi hai to follow nahi ho raha right so this also does not follow now no and sum no and sum they are logical opposites right something like hot and not hot so for example i am telling you i am saying this ki this pen right this pen is hot we do not know for sure let's say you do not know for sure this pen is hot does not follow it's only a possibility this pen is not hot is also something you do not know it is only a possibility so whether this pen is hot or not hot you do not know they both are possibilities right but do you know for sure that one of them one of the statements this pen is hot this pen is not hot is true one of them is absolutely true necessarily true ya to wo hot hai ya nahi hai we do, we do not know ki hot hai ki not hot hai lekin dono mein se ek pakka hai right and same same funda can be applied here so we know that no b is c does not follow we don't know ek mein hai ek mein nahi hai and similarly some b or c we are not sure ek mein hai ek mein nahi hai right so they both do not follow they both are possible right but one of them is necessarily true dono mein se ek pakka true hai just like hot and not hot hot and not hot mein se ek pakka true hai right so when this case arises when this case arises we say okay i think uh, it has gone down we say either one or two follows either one or two follows this this case is either one or two follows aur either one or two kab hota hai jab wo do opposite statements hain some and no और दोनों ही फॉलो नहीं कर रहे दोनों पॉसिबल हैं। कैन यू टेल मी आइदर और और किस केस में सिचुएशन में सही हो जाएगा आइदर और एक तो हमने देख लिया सम एंड नो में और किस केस में हो जाएगा राइट सो ऑल एंड सम नॉट अगर दो कंक्लूजन स्टेटमेंट्स हैं ऑल ए आर बी सम ए आर नॉट बी दोनों ऑपोजिट और अगर दोनों ही फॉलो नहीं हो रहे अगर दोनों फॉलो नहीं हो रहे राइट right, तो हम बोल सकते हैं कि इन दोनों में से एक पक्का ट्रू है आइदर वन और टू तो सम एंड नो में कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट्रीज में ऑल एंड सम नॉट में बट ये जरूरी है कि दोनों स्टेटमेंट्स फॉलो नहीं हो रहे दोनों पॉसिबल है राइट ओके देन वी हैव तो देखो यहां पे जब ये था वन सेकेंड जब यहां पे सम वाली हम लोग बात कर रहे थे राइट तब तो हमारे पास था आइदर वन और टू फॉलोअर्स चलो यहां पे आ गया ये राइट आइदर वन और टू फॉलोअर्स व्हाट इफ वी चेंज दिस सम 
to most. Now we have most A R B and most A R C. Right? How do we go about this one? Right. So most जो है that changes things. Why? Because sum में हम लोग ने number दिया था one to hundred. At least one, maximum hundred. Most is greater than fifty. Greater than fifty मतलब most का minimum है fifty one, maximum hundred. So it changes things. Let's see how. तो जब हमने कहा मोस्ट ए आर बी सो वट आई डेड वॉज आई ड्रू अ हाफ वे आई ड्रू अ लाइन हाफ वे इन टू द सर्कल राइट राइट इन द मिडिल ऑफ द सर्कल ओके नाउ वेन इट सेज मोस्ट ए आर बी आई हैव टू एंश्योर दैट बी सॉर्ट ऑफ क्रॉसेस दिस हाफ वे मार्क राइट एंड क्रॉसेस दिस हाफ वे मार्क राइट बिकॉज मोस्ट ए आर बी okay and then we have most a r c again when we when i am drawing the c circle right it has to cross that halfway mark right this so when both b and c are crossing this uh, line in the middle there is a definite overlap between b and c so in this case it is not a either or case because even if there is some and no this conclusion definitely follows some b r c definitely follows in the most wala case okay so let this sink in and then we we'll do another question right so then we have this question this is slightly different okay this is slightly different in the previous question we had most a r b and most a r c in this one we have most a r b and most b r c so we have changed the statements a bit and then we have to determine which conclusion follows and you can let me know in the comment section all right so most a r b so again what we do is we draw a line going through the center of the circle right most a r b so i'm drawing this diagram in this way and the circle of b crosses the halfway mark so most a r b and then we have most b r c again i draw this line going through the middle of the circle or uh, not a circle it is an ellipse right and now we have to draw for most b r c right now if you look at it most b r c most a r b right but with uh, an overlap between a and c is not given as in it is uh, not sure an overlap between a and c so in this case some a r c does not necessarily follow as far as no a is c is concerned we understand that a and c can have an overlap it is possible so therefore this also does not follow so in this particular question the answer is either one or two follows right so the difference between the two questions was in the previous case in the previous case we had most 
on the middle term on a a was the middle term here right and in the latter case in the latter case we had one most we had most on a and then we had it on b so in the latter case the uh, the situation is that either one or two follows right so so my, my point uh, is that when you are dealing with these statements that have most right do them accordingly as in uh, there is no blanket sort of rule ki most wala hai to hamesha sum wala follow karega right it will depend on the kind of question you you are asked okay so make use of the when <clears throat> okay so i i think uh, we 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 have covered all these variations the only other variation uh, is uh, of of this phrasing sometimes it comes i i don't think it has ever come in the a lit but uh, a statement like only a few arp only a few arp so this is not standard syllogism uh, phrasing but we can encounter such uh, statements right so only a few ka matlab hai only a few a r b to dekho some a r b se possible hai all a r b right some a r b se possible hai all a r b we understand that only a few a r b mein all a r b ki possibility khatam all a r b does not follow or it's not a possibility right some a r b mein all a r b is possible only a few a r b mein all a r b is is not possible right it is false right uh, so i think uh, only a few most and with to majority kai log bol rahe the ki majority wala karna hai majority is the same thing as most right what else right i i think if if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section otherwise i think we have uh, covered almost all of it right now one one more thing i want to add here is that you will get uh, i i am uh, we will do we, i wanted to do a sheet also but i think uh, we are reaching the end of the session so uh, so i i'll link i will provide you the link of the sheet in the description right after uh, the video is uploaded uh, you will have a link to the sheet and also the link to the answer key of the sheet right so you can solve the sheet right and you have the answer key for reference right so uh, i think that is it uh, from my side as far as syllogism is concerned and uh, i would also like this like to take this opportunity to say all the best for elite right right so i'm getting thank yous and uh, yes so that will be it uh, we'll call it wraps everyone all the best have a good rest of the day take care